Hello everyone. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, hit the subscribe button, and click the bell icon for future videos such as this. Now, onto these crazy overpriced items. Number 1. $111,000 on 200 plus pounds of silver. After told by his father to invest, one gentleman decided to purchase over 200 pounds of silver. By the time he walked into Rick's shop, 12 years had passed since his investment and the price of the silver had skyrocketed. With a set profit margin, Rick knew he could sell it immediately, so after carrying out some checks to ensure the silver was pure, which even included some drilling, he was happy to snap up the hoard for the pricey sum of $111,000. Number 2. $95,000 for a 1932 Lincoln Roadster This convertible was created with one thing in mind, luxury. With its 150 horsepower V12 engine, it was more powerful than most cars of its era. So when Rick and the old man went to check out this exceptionally maintained 1932 Roadster, they knew they had to go big if they wanted to ride off with this vintage beauty. In the end, it was $95,000 big, paid in cash, which the owner then pushed back over the counter to buy $95,000 in gold. Number 3. $95,000 for a 1961 Gibson SG Les Paul guitar. This custom guitar belonged to an American guitarist, Mary Ford, who was the wife of the legendary guitarist Les Paul. From 1950 to 1954, Mary and Les co-wrote 16 top 10 hits and sold millions of records. Les's solid body guitar design also effectively changed the sound of rock music. Already a rare guitar made even more valuable with its actual connection to Les Paul, this would become Rick's largest guitar buy of his career. After the owner's initial ask of £250,000, Rick did well to snap it up for a meager $90,000. Number 4. $85,000 for a 1941 Gibson SJ200 guitar. Not only was this guitar beautiful and rare, but it was also owned by a rock legend. Stephen Stills of the folk rock group Crosby, Stills, Nash owned this piece of rock and roll history, which was instantly appreciated by Rick as he uttered the words, That is cool. With an accompanying bill of sales signed by Stills himself, Rick had to dig deep into his hands on this holy grail of Gibson guitars. In the end, he was able to pry it off the owner for a cool $85,000. Number 5. $80,000 for a 1922 Proof Piece High Relief Dollar Described as one of the rarest coins in American history, the 1922 High Relief Dollar was brought into Rick's shop by a man who had originally won it in a poker game. The gentleman believed the coin, one of the only 10 to 12 left in existence, to be worth around $20,000. After Rick had one of his experts take a look at it, that price jumped considerably with a new estimate given of between $50,000 to $100,000. Rick and the man struck a deal at $80,000. And that concludes our list. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell icons for future videos such as this. And I'll see you in the next video. Catch you guys later.